I'm Keith, this is my wife Karen, we've lived uh, in our house about 16 years and we've got to know our neighbour next door over the last probably five years uh, really well. Uh, we've always just sent Christmas cards that sort of thing and just said hello in passing but uh, obviously it's getting a little bit older now, he's 86 and um, we've just sort of checked in on him quite regular really just to make sure he's okay. As he's getting older we didn't want to see him struggle so it started off that I'd be probably cutting my grass and think I've got the lawn mower out I'll just go and pop and do the front lawn and it sort of escalated from that and I did the back lawn uh, so I do his garden for him as well uh, probably in the summer time every few weeks. We just um, like to pop round and just check he's doing okay really make sure he's not worried about anything, he's got a bit of company occasionally, just a uh, quick chat to see if he's okay. I usually pop round and uh, take him a, a crusty loaf or a box of cakes or something just to make sure he's alright and just have a quick chat just to see if he's doing alright really. And uh, as we've got to know him uh, a bit better he's sort of opened up to us a little bit more so if he, he has had any problems in the house where he needs things repairing maybe he's maybe come and asked us for a little bit of advice who we could go to for, for help basically rather than him trying to look himself we may know somebody who could help or if I could help him if it's some little minor repair that he needs. We, we know he's, um, he's got a niece who lives uh, a few streets away and we've got her phone number as well so that if we are a little bit worried we can give her a call and say can you pop round and check on him you know but at least we're next door if in an emergency he knows he can call round and just let us know if he's worried about anything or needs anything really because some i think some people think that it's like it's going to be a big commitment if you could try if you try and get too involved but it doesn't have to be i mean you know we it makes us feel good that we can just we feel confident that he's okay and he knows that we're there if he needs us and it's just a two-way thing really yeah and i think i think it's encouraged more people uh within our street to, to help other people because they they have noticed that we knock on his door uh, once a week just to see if he's okay and I think they sort of then have got involved with other people they know as well uh, and it makes us makes us feel good and I'm sure it makes other people feel good that they're helping people.